Now to revert back to your question, how did I wind up here? I got a phone call in 1987 from the owners of Extra Sports 690, and it was called the Noble Broadcast Group. They owned 18 stations around the country, small market ownership group. This guy calls me and he says, Lee, I know who you are. We know what you've done. I represent Extra Sports 690. We just got the rights to the San Diego Chargers of the NFL. We are going to take our big signal station and make it a news talk sports station. We'd like you to be the first piece of that. Come do afternoon drive. Come be the voice of the Chargers. Help create this big pregame show, postgame show, etc. So I wound up coming here. Now, when I got here, it wasn't easy because they were still 69 extra gold, old rock and roll, right. Wolfman Jack and all that. Right. And I was the only guy with any sports background walking into the building. And I've been given carte blanche to create this game day with nine hours, big pregame show, play-by-play, big postgame talk show. And I had to find guys that could fit in and be part of it. So we went ahead and did that. It was really tough the first year because I was the only guy in the building. I was a one-man island. And it, there were points in time, and the team wasn't very good. There were points in time I said, boy, did I make a mistake coming over here because I'm not making any headway and everything's a struggle. But eventually the station evolved. Uh, and they decided to get rid of the 69 extra gold format because music on AM didn't work any longer. Right. And they evolved into news talk sports. Uh, they, they got some really unique names to be part of the first station, Extra News 690. And if they had stayed at it, it would have been fabulous, but they didn't stay at it. At one point early, uh, this probably was about 1989, they decided to go news talk sports. And I was the first ingredient. And then they, they got access to a, a young talk show host out of Sacramento. They got the rights to Rush Limbaugh. Mm. Then they got Larry King out of New York, syndicated show. Then they got Dr. Laura, who was just beginning right. her thing. So they packaged all that with me, with the Chargers and news blocks, and it would have been great. And they didn't stay with it. They only stayed with it for nine months, which was unfortunate because I think it could have been a legendary station.